Namaste, beautiful yogis. Today we are doing a five minute uh, pelvic uh, and hip realignment that you can add at the end of any other class or you can do just by itself. It is appropriate for any time in your life, but also it's very good to perform during pregnancy so that you keep this area nice and healthy. All right, you will need for this class uh, some form of a strap. If you have a yoga strap, that will work. Otherwise, you can probably figure something out around the house that will work as a strap and a yoga block. So that's what we're gonna need and a wall. I will be using this beautiful tree today. It's going to be my assistant. Um, so we'll uh, get started with just a little bit of uh, hip circles. Now we're going to strengthen the hips here. We're not stretching the hips so much as strengthening the hips and bringing awareness to the alignment of the hips and the pelvis. Now bring in your kegel breath or kegels. All right, from here, we're going to take a partial lunge to the side, right? Come back to the center, partial lunge to the left. Come back to the center, partial lunge, press the right knee back, right hip back. Step back, partial lunge. Step back, keep the belly working. So basically have that contraction. If you're pregnant, I have core exercises for women, definitely check those out so you know how exactly to keep the transverse abdominals engaged. If you're not pregnant, of course you know how to engage your core muscles. A few more of those. And we'll take a nice plie. Let's bring the hands over the knees and look over one shoulder over to the other one more time excellent now we'll do one of the most important things for realigning the hips and especially if you have back pain sciatica yogic squat coming down onto into a squat having the heels back and down. So basically we're using gravity here to realign the tailbone and the hips. If you bring your hands in prayer, elbows will press your knees out to open them a little more. Now, if you cannot squat like this with your heels on the ground, you will just grab onto something and squat and have something hold you. That will work as well. Let's bring the kegel muscle or the kegel breathing in. Mula Banda. Let's look over the right shoulder and over to the left. Great. Let's slowly come up and now we'll get to the fun part. Coming into, um, grab your uh, block, come to your wall and take a chair or a sit down pose on a wall with your back to the wall. And here you will bring your block between between your uh, legs. Now you can do the shorter side of your block or the wider. I would do the shorter for myself because that brings my hips at the round hip width apart. And I'm going to sit down, press my lower back into the wall and squeeze. Chest open, squeezing here, release, squeeze and hold. Release, squeeze, Release, squeeze, and really hold that squeeze. Release, squeeze, good. Place the block down, and we'll bring the strap in. 
place the strap around your knees and now we're going to press out press out so the knees are pressing into the strap which is allowing you to work on your strength and alignment this is aligning your hips all right block between the legs let's see if i can place it now with the strap now squeeze so from here we're gonna alternate press out into your strap and really feel how your hips here are working doing the work and now press into your block really press into your block use your doctors you're using the doctors to really press into the block press out and now we're using the abductors the hips press in and hold let's count one two three four five press out for count of five one two three four five let's press it back in one two three four five and out one two three four five in one two three four five last one press it out and we can come out of this take the strap out and we'll do a knee knee to hands only if that feels good anything we're doing today has to feel good now we can stretch the quadriceps I mainly wanted to work on stability and strength, so the stretches are not necessary, but they can feel good. And this session is done for today. If you feel like you could repeat it one more time, go ahead and do that. Push play again and do the whole sequence. It's a quick sequence, do it twice and you're done for today. Your hips should feel a lot better and your tailbone should feel better. In general, this is really good for aligning the hips and the pelvis. So, thanks for joining me today. Namaste.